Iyer Kolkata as a PhD student from uh, Ayan Banerjee's group. And first, I'd like to thank all the organizers for uh, having me here. So uh, we will, I will just talk about uh, energetic fluctuations of the fluctuations of energetics of a trapped Brownian particle in active like viscoelastic bath. So by now we all know that any microscope processes in microscopic regime uh, like uh, the position fluctuation of a uh, Brownian particle in time dependent trap or any kind of stochastic pump or even the working of kinesin motor are very uh, driven by thermal fluctuations and stuff like that. And that's why every time if you realize the system, you will get different, different trajectory. But then if you uh, do any trajectory dependent thermodynamics and try to qu quantify work and entropy and heat like that, every quantity will have a distribution and rather than a single value ring, this will have a distribution and there are this fluctuation theorem uh, which tells us about the probability of the positive fluctuations and uh, the probability of the negative fluctuations and they say that the probability of the positive fluctuations are exponentially more. So, and if you take the log of that, you will get a, basically a straight line curve depending on the curve. And on this line, there is this work fluctuation theorem, which is uh, like, the uh, relates the positive work fluctuation to the negative work fluctuation. And this fluctuation theorem is very well studied in uh, many different scenarios, started, starting from uh, experiment in colloidal substance where a particle is trapped in an optical tweezer and moved by uh, some kind of external random force and shows that uh, depending on the strength of the noise, uh, this relation is uh, validated and after if the strength of the noise is very high, this noise, this uh, this uh, relation is violated. Then uh, there are uh, other theoretical results who talk about this the violation and where this thing happen. And rather than the colloidal system, many other situations like uh, energy flux in wave turbulence or any electrical register uh, thing, there are also these kind of relations are studied and the violations are well studied also. Now, uh, we wanted to look into the work fluctuation as well as the fluctuation of any energetics in a system where uh, the bath is viscoelastic. And why viscoelastic? Because so the viscoelastic material is uh, like this bath is not only dissipated energy, but it can some sense, it can store energy that leads to the uh, large relaxation time of the fluid. Okay, And in recent times, there are this interesting observation like this enhancement of grammar state transition uh, and some theoretical estimation that if the bath is considered like viscoelastic, theoretically the efficiency of a Carnot engine can, or efficiency of a heat engine can lead to a Carnot efficiency. Rather than uh, there are many other things, if you have a viscoelastic bath and if you have active particles, they do so circular motion and their rotational diffusion and increases. More importantly, there are several papers that show that uh, in different biological process are, are felicitated due to viscoelastic background. But till now, there are uh, some questions that needs to be answered that like how this viscoelastic uh, viscoelasticity uh, affecting the non-equilibrium condition or how it can optimize the output of such microscopic processes. And even you can consider like inside the cell, the medium is viscoelastic. And if you put a probe particle there, that will you know, that will feel the active fluctuation due to the active background inside the cell, which you can abstract uh, like a like a uh, like a microscopic particle in a uh, harmonic trap and which trap position is fluctuate. To uh, understand this type of process, uh, we uh, realize a uh, experiment that using optical tweezer where we trap a, a microscopic particle in in say uh, polyethylene oxide which is a viscoelastic part material and which relaxation time is larger than uh, any viscous material or something like that. so relaxation time scale here we use the material which relaxation time scale is like 0 0.01 in a second and to Mimic the activity in the background. What we did, we 
uh, move the mean position of the trap using a exponentially correlated noise through this acoustic optic modulator so that you can see as we increase the strength of the external noise, the system goes to out of equilibrium and you can see this uh, steady state current in the background. Okay, and to understand this system analytically, we uh, write down uh, this, uh, the generalized Langevin equation with a memory kernel and the mean position of the trap is moved like a constant Uhlen Bignall. Okay, and the, this memory kernel, which has a delta correlated term plus a exponential correlated term, this tau, which related to the relaxation time scale of the fluid. Okay, so due to this kind of thing, this uh, Langevin equation is non Markovian. And to understand or to solve this thing analytically, to understand the dynamics of this uh, analytically, what we do, we introduce a, a auxiliary variable that so that this non Markovian system can be uh, written down in a higher order Markovian system so that we can get the steady state probability distribution of the particle in terms of mean and variance of the uh, fluctuation. So first we uh, look into the variance of the particle. What we first notice that uh, the variance of the particle uh, changes linearly with the strength of the noise, which is here A. And also uh, we look into that in from the mean square displacement. And, and as we see that mean square displacement is increases for a uh, higher noise state. As expected, it is increases on the higher noise state. Then what we, what we notice that for a certain fixed noise strength, which is uh, determined by this parameter theta, uh, that we saw that for a viscous case, for a viscoelastic case, the variance, or you can say the effective temperature of the particle is increased than the viscous bar. And this nature is here also in the, uh, in the steady state probability distribution too. Also, we notice that this uh, variance of the position fluctuation of the particle does not change monotonically with the relaxation time of the fluid, but it changes non-monotonic fashion. And after some point, it does saturate. Does not mean it, if you increase the relaxation fluid, the uh, sigma, the uh, variance does not keep on increasing, but it saturates at some point. Next, we look into the uh, energetic. First, we look into the work done on the trap particle and which is defined like that. This is just a force times the uh, displacement and force time velocity over dt. So this is displacement. And then we able to calculate the mean of the uh, work done. And we find out that the rate of mean work done is more in case of a viscoelastic bath than the viscous bath. Okay. And here also with the relaxation time scale of the fluid, we get similar nature that we saw in case of a uh, in case of a viscoelastic okay so uh, then what we saw that the entropy production rate of the system uh, is found to be exactly equal to the uh, work done on mean work done on the um, work done on the trap particle that's because uh, if you look into the entropy production current there is only the time extensive part is the input work done that is the only extensive part so the mean of this thing is equal and we we kind of expected that the mean rate of entropy production or as well as the work done it increases in case of viscoelastic bath because in viscoelastic bath there are the increase of interaction of the particle with the bath due to a different kind of polymer present in the viscoelastic bath and as we know from recent literature is that we know the interaction increases the entropy production rate. So that's why in viscoelastic bath, entropy increased or the work done on the trapped particle is increased. Then we look into the uh, fluctuations. So to understand the fluctuation of the thing, first we look at the single step work distribution. So here we uh, to theoretically understand that what we do, we uh, take care of the fact that this uh, x0, which is the mean position of the particle, and x dot are two uh, Gaussian random variables which are cross correlated. And we so then the single step work fluctuation can be 
uh, explained can be expressed in terms of a skewed uh, this zero order basal function, modified basal function, where this beta ws and alpha ws term can be expressed in terms of the mean and variance of the particle. Okay. And then what of the work? So we saw that our uh, theoretical prediction is matches well with the experimental data from where we calculated the single time work done. And also if we look at the uh, the work fluctuation theorem, it also matches with the theoretical prediction. Then we uh, look into the cumulative work distribution thing, but for the cumulative thing, the work series is already correlated, right? So we kind of approximated the correlation such that uh, approximated the correlation in the mean and variance of the particle. And we kind of approximated this, uh, this uh, the fluctuation in terms of the modified Bessel function and such that it matches well with our uh, experimental experimental uh, experimentally measured uh, intro input work done. And what we notice that at long time or in the cumulative work done, the in the viscoelastic cases for a certain strength of the noise, the negative work done probability of getting negative work done is diminished uh, compared to the viscous case. Okay, I must say that. To get the, this probability distribution of this work done, there are more general methods like the last deviation or probability uh, or the path probability measure, where also you can get uh, this type of long time behavior in a more general way. But we uh, we just followed this to get the approximated result, and uh, it fits well with our with our experimental data. And we also looked into the fluctuation theorem here. And what we notice there is that, that the fluctuation theorem for a viscoelastic case is violated uh, with a lower noise strength than the visco viscous case. Okay, so uh, for uh, if we notice that uh, this even the in a viscous case, even uh, even the fluctuation theorem is violate is valid up to let's say theta equals to 0 0.62 uh, with our data. But if we notice, it's actually violated for the viscoelastic case or the very lower noise. So as a whole, what we notice that we saw that viscoelasticity of a medium increases the input work done on the trapped particle. And that way, the negative work fluctuations are also diminished in case of a viscoelastic bath. And, uh, and also, there are a, a strong violations of the work fluctuations theorem in this question. So I would like to thank the group and I would like to thank my collaborator, Professor Supriya Krishnamurti and uh, Srikant from Stanford. So I would like to thank the, our, my funding and thank you for listening. Yeah, any question? Thank you, Biswajit. Do we have any quick questions? I. I have a question. So yeah. you talked about the um, uh, entropy production going up in the viscoelastic case. Yes, yes. My, my sort of intuition for when you get entropy production from a system that you're jiggling, right? Effectively, yes. you're, you're jiggling the system from the outside. Yes. And entropy production is low if the response is really slow compared to your jiggling because the thing just doesn't move. And then you okay, get yes. and entry production is low if the thing responds really quickly, because then it's like you're doing a quasi-static jiggling. But yeah. you get high entropy production when the system is responding yeah. to your perturbation, but not keeping up with it. And it feels like the the having a long memory kernel or whatever it is yes. is basically making that region where it responds but not quickly much bigger. Does that match with your intuition of why the thing is generating more entropy? Yes, kind of, but we think that, so there is this thing, uh, so if I go back to that slide, so if you notice, so in a viscoelastic bath, there are uh, different kind of polymers and stuff like that, which increases the uh, interaction of the, uh, the, suppose the trapped particle with the bath. So this kind of interaction, actually increases the entropy production rate. So increment of interaction can increase the 
uh, intro products and day. So we are thinking by that way, but uh, I think your intuition is also correct. So because of this memory kernel, the interaction is actually increased. Okay. Thank you very much for your talk. Let us, and it's nice to see the combination of theory and experiment there.